Hello, Jesse here uh, from the Peaceful Alpha Project. The topic for today uh, is the flow state, and it might not be the flow state that you're accustomed to, although it's very, very similar. It's it it's a it's a flow state where you and your dog are totally present and totally harmonized with each other's presence. Your dog wants to do this to you naturally because your dog is always harmonizing to its pack. That's how they can kind of know what's going on. They're just connected to all of the other animals in their pack. Um, and actually, side note, when they're resting, they kind of always rest and watch each other's backs to help each other out. They're connected. So flow state, dog walk, connection with your dog has to start with you. Um, you're the facilitator. You have to first be present yourself, a little bit meditative. It's a good idea to meditate before your walk. Um, and you want to be in your body, your consciousness in your body. That way you can use your hands to sense any tension in the leash. Use your eyes to sense any upcoming distractions. Use your ears to tune in to the rhythm of your dog's toenail, toenails on the, on the cement. You can tell a lot of information about what your dog is doing, where it's focusing on, uh, what's capturing its attention, and what's coming up. Um, once you get into a rhythm of walking your dog, a rhythm where you're both kind of walking at the same pace, your, your heads are in the same direction, uh, your mind, you're not really thinking, you're just awareing. Um, that's the flow state. And from that place, um, there's such relaxation and such enjoyment on the walk, both for you and your dog. Even people watching you are, can't help but smile. Um, it's very early and I'm a little sloppy with the camera. I'm learning how to do this. So back to the flow state. Once you get in it, you'll be able to tell too because you'll, there'll be absolutely no tension in the leash. Once you get in it, your job is to keep the two of you in it. And that's where the arc from, from the last lesson was is pretty cool is when you're in it and you're walking so calmly towards other dogs and you see the dogs coming up and you go, oh, oh. Well, your dog's gonna feel that shift in your energy. So the sun here, the dog's gonna feel that shift in your energy and you're gonna remind yourself, okay, I can arc around this. That communicates a calm approach for all beings. Instantly you drag, drop your mind back into that clear headed space and your dog doesn't even react to uh, any of these distractions because it's you've been building a momentum of this flow state. So that's a key point right there is achieve the flow state and then nurture it, allow it to collect momentum. This is going to train your dog to walk like that um, all the time. It's going to want to walk with you like that. So take a peek at the lesson with Kira and see where I do that. That That's underneath the, the whole lesson. My, my intention is to cultivate momentum uh, using the commands, stop and go, the leash work, uh, the angles that we walk in and the timing of my verbal communication with her, these are all intended to build momentum of flow state. Uh, so check that out. Hope this lesson inspires you to enjoy your walks more with your dog and do more of them.